Holland and Schiphol Airport. This is the hub for the shipping of the air freight to New Zealand. This really is just a logistic thing of getting the bikes packed up safely and securely to get down to New Zealand and be cleared in time for the meeting. We chose Amsterdam as a central location because we've got a good connection here. There's no direct connection to New Zealand just because it's too far away, you know. No, no plane can reach that distance in one stretch. So in the Emirates got a good connection uh, via Dubai. So we've got big freighters flying to Auckland on a regular basis. That's why we uh, choose that option, as we need to get there quickly. And for the return, we've got the same. They need it all back within a week uh, for, their, uh, for their league again. IMG have done a fantastic job on the crates. You know, the crates are beautiful. Ollie Olsen, the director of Speedway, has designed them, and today's been the start of, of loading them up. What you need to do is do the handlebars off, yeah. footrest off, and then we lift it in, put it in here, then take the front wheel out, and then we can start packing. In the past, riders have made their own crates, and it becomes a, a huge drama to the riders. And, and they all worry about it, the mechanics worry about it. Their teams have come here excited about it, packed their crates, and they're all happy. It's first time round, so we're doing everything we can, the best we can. The bikes are a little bit different for every rider, and they've all got their own systems of toolboxes and spares boxes. We've split the teams into two groups, so each day, hopefully, we're gonna have eight teams coming in, and we'll work through however long as it takes. Each crate's got about uh, 450 kilograms of freight, and, and including the case, we are uh, looking at about 550. It includes uh, the bikes, the, the gear, any spare wheels or uh, sprockets, and, you know, everything you need. So this has got a nice format, these crates. So, uh, I'm quite happy with that. You think you can zip tie for here? It's better everything together. Once we got the crate, we made up some special racks. Where the bikes fit in very tight, close together without touching. And then the boys have secured everything to the bikes, really nice and solid, so that if it's picked up or moved by a forklift driver, it doesn't move and it's not going to break out. So as long as we're good at the other end, then it's fantastic for us. New Zealand is probably the toughest customs in the world, mainly because it's so agricultural. They've never had foot and mouth down there. They've never had any of those type of diseases. And their economy revolves around that sort of, so any dirt at all, they are very hostile on. And this is what I've been really drumming into all the riders and their mechanics. In New Zealand, the guys that work with the farms will wear these boots, and if they see that, they'll go crazy. All the equipment's always immaculate. You never have to worry about that. But it's silly things, like today, two of the boys had their gumboots in there that were just old, dirty gumboots. They looked like farm boots. It would have caused us a lot of problems. Three helmets, two spares boxes. I don't think the spares box was ever on here. Okay. So that's gonna be the The challenge is that it's, it's new to the guy, so you have to really have a look at the restrictions and everything. Bikes and engines and fuel and stuff, they've been, of course, uh, considered uh, dangerous goods. And fuel and bikes are in different classes, so uh, it's just a matter of the right uh, instructions and the right labeling and everything, so. Uh. We've had to discuss about batteries, aerosol sprays and that sort of thing. A lot of the boys have their air blowers, cooling blowers and ignition boxes. We've had to clear these with dangerous goods people. No one's complained about room at all. Some of them have been back quite as good as they should have, but they'll do it a lot better next time. Well, you look very neat and tidy, boys, I tell you. These boys are on the road all the time, and their packing job in the transporters is phenomenal. So this was only a small challenge to them. We're now going more global. The boys will be confident that their bikes are gonna get there in one piece and in and out quickly and safely. Once this is done now, it'll be like clockwork the next times. Uh, their crates will be delivered to the pits and be used as their backdrop of the pit area. So they'll be able to take all their stuff out, run the meeting, clean everything up after the meeting, and then repack the bikes to come back. <laughs>